Good evening, everyone. The windy conditions today did not deter Ishpeming and West Iron County from playing their tennis match. Let's head on over to Ishpeming. In the first set in first singles, Wycon's Haley Anderson serving in the near court against Ishpeming's Gabby Crowley. This point had Anderson hustling all over the court, but she, she just can't get there in time, so Crowley is awarded the point. Later, it's 5-2 in favor of Crowley. A nice rally until she will sneak that ball in bounds. She wins in two sets, 6-4, 6-3. Later, her teammates over in first doubles. This was a tight match between West Iron County's Meg Mayatek and Ali Sheevy in the near court against Libby Doney and Haley Thompson. This match went down to a third set tiebreaker. Doney would get a couple aces to seal the win as Ishpeming wins in three sets. And on the day, the Hematites would defeat West Iron County 5-3. High school volleyball tonight and Harris as Bark River hosted Munising. After a line drive serve here by the Mustangs, the Broncos go for the tip at the net, but it's going to be blocked by Marley to set and Munising has the early lead. Next, the Mustangs get the kill here from Frankie Matson. This one is just barely fair on the line and Munising leads the first set 16 to 11. The Broncos would inch closer with the service ace here by Emily Johnson to go to within 22 19, but the Mustangs would take care of business, winning the match 3 0 over Bark River. In some more volleyball scores, North Central hosted Mid Penn. They win 3 1 as Marissa Westland added 12 digs. And Superior Central also hosted Big Bay Dinoc. They win 3 0. The college hockey season gets underway this week, but first, the Michigan Tech and NMU club hockey teams already have games in the books. The Wildcats and Wolfpack met over the weekend at the Berry Event Center. First period from Saturday night after a mid-ice scramble, Gunther Garrett finds Kellen Michalik and NMU took a 1-0 lead at the 5:04 mark. Tech rallied to win Friday night's contest 4-3, so Northern made sure that wouldn't happen again. About six and a half minutes later, Kingsford's Brock Francis gave the Wildcats a 2-0 lead. NMU received solid goaltending here from Alex Latvla. He will be at the proper angle to make an easy save on this Wolfpack shot. In the third period, NMU scored on a power play as Karsten Hepler deflected a pass from Ben Wheeler. The Wildcats won 5-0 to split the weekend series. The NMU club team is 5-1 this season. The Wildcats are on the road for a month before hosting Wisconsin Eau Claire in early November. As for NMU, the hockey team is starting anew in the Western Collegiate Hockey Association. The Wildcats were chosen sixth in two media polls. This season, Northern is looking to finish at least 500 on the season. Returning for the Wildcats are junior Reed Seckel, who was one of the top scorers last year with 13 goals and 12 assists, along with seniors Eric Higby and Jake Johnson. Senior captain CJ Ludwig will lead the back end on defense. That game against the U.S. under-18 team is at 7 p.m. this Saturday. for its season. The black and gold will be strong up front once again with Ryan Fern and Jacob Johnstone returning. Both players combined for 109 career goals. Last season's MVP Blake Pietala headlines a group of super seniors. The challenging part of Tech's schedule this year will be non-conference road games against Minnesota Duluth, Notre Dame and Michigan. If they can win at least one of these in the three series, the Huskies will be in good shape. We'll have a more in-depth look at the team and hear from head coach Mel Pearson and a couple Huskies this Thursday. For sports scores and highlights, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. All right, go Tigers. Yes, go Tigers. All right, thanks a lot, Lily. Coming up, one more sports sp story to tell you about. It's about racing, swivel chair racing. We'll head to the track next, but first, here's Jay Leno. <laughs> 